Welcome to this video about a remarkable archaeological discovery in Norway, a 1,300-year-old ship burial that predates the Viking Age. In this video, we will explore the history and significance of this ancient burial practice and how it reveals the culture and beliefs of the people who lived in Scandinavia more than a millennium ago. Humans have always sought ways to honor their dead and ensure their well-being in the afterlife. Across different times and places, people have developed various burial customs such as placing the body in a cave, a tomb, a pyramid or a mausoleum. Some cultures have also used ships or boats as part of their burial rites, either as the container for the corpse and the grave goods or as a symbol of the journey to the other world. One of the most famous examples of ship burial is the Sutton Hoo site in England where a 90-foot-long ship was found under a large mound along with a rich collection of artifacts dating back to the early 7th century. The ship was believed to belong to a powerful Anglo-Saxon king, possibly Radwald who ruled over the Kingdom of East Anglia. The ship and its contents reflect the king's wealth, status and connections with other regions such as Scandinavia, the Mediterranean and Byzantium. But the tradition of ship burial did not originate in England. It was actually brought by the Germanic peoples who migrated from northern Europe and settled in Britain. Among these peoples were the Vikings, the fierce warriors and explorers who dominated the seas and raided many lands from the late 8th to the 11th century. The Vikings were also skilled shipbuilders and seafarers who used their vessels for trade, travel and warfare. For them, the ship was not only a practical tool but also a sacred object, a symbol of their identity and their faith. The Vikings believed in a complex cosmology, where the world was divided into nine realms, each inhabited by different beings, such as gods, giants, elves and dwarves. The realms were connected by a giant ash tree called Yggdrasil and by a rainbow bridge called Bifrost. The Vikings also believed in an apocalyptic event called Ragnarok when the gods and the forces of chaos would fight a final battle that would destroy the world and create a new one. To prepare for this event and to honor their dead, the Vikings practiced various forms of burial depending on the social status, gender and personal preference of the deceased. Some were cremated, some were buried in the ground and some were buried in ships. The ship burial was reserved for the most elite members of the society such as kings, queens, chieftains and warriors. The ship was either dragged on land and covered with a mound or set on fire and sent out to sea. The ship was filled with grave goods such as weapons, jewelry, tools, animals and even human slaves. The ship burial was believed to help the deceased reach the afterlife, either Valhalla, the hall of the slain where they would join the god Odin and his warriors or Folkvanger, the field of the people where they would join the goddess Freya and her followers. The ship burial was not only a way of honoring the dead but also of displaying the power and prestige of the living. The ship burial was a public ceremony where the relatives and the community would gather to mourn, celebrate and witness the departure of the deceased. The ship burial was also a way of creating a lasting monument, a visible reminder of the legacy and the ancestry of the people who buried their loved ones in ships. But the ship burial was not a unique invention of the Vikings. It was actually a continuation of an older tradition that dates back to the Merovingian period from the 6th to the 8th century. The Merovingians were a dynasty of Frankish kings who ruled over a large area of Western Europe including parts of Scandinavia. They were also influenced by the Roman culture and Christianity which they adopted in the 5th century. The Merovingians were known for their lavish burials which often included ships, chariots, horses and weapons. The oldest known ship burial in Scandinavia was recently discovered in Norway in a coastal community called Laker. Archaeologists found a large, grassy hill known as the Herlogshagen Burial Mound which measures 23 feet tall and 197 feet in diameter. They suspected that the mound contained a ship, and they were right. They excavated part of the mound and found large rivets and pieces of wood that were likely once part of a vessel. They also found some human bones but they were too fragmented to identify the gender or the cause of death of the person buried in the ship. The identity of the person buried in the ship is still a mystery but there are some clues that might help us narrow down the possibilities. Based on the size and the age of the ship and the location of the mound, we can assume that the person was a powerful and wealthy leader who had connections with other regions and cultures. One possible candidate is Herlock, a legendary king of Laker who is mentioned in several medieval sources. According to the sagas, Herlock was a descendant of Harald Fairhair, the first king of Norway who unified the country in the late 9th century. Herlock was said to have ruled over Laker and the surrounding islands and to have built a large hall and a fortification on the island. He was also said to have died in a ship burial, 
along with 11 of his men after he refused to submit to Harold Fairhair's authority. However, there are some problems with this theory. First of all, the dating of the ship burial does not match the dating of Harold Fairhair's reign which is usually placed in the late 9th and early 10th century. Second, the sagas are not reliable sources of historical information as they were written centuries after the events they describe and often mixed facts with fiction and legends. Third, the name of the mound, Herlogshagen, does not necessarily mean that it was named after Herlock. It could also mean, the mound of the Herlock, which was a term for a large burial mound in Old Norse. The ship burial in Laker dates back to around 700 AD, which is before the Viking Age which started around 793 AD. This means that the ship burial in Laker is the oldest known ship burial in Scandinavia and it pushes the whole tradition of ship burials quite far back in time. It also suggests that the people who lived in the region at that time were skilled seafarers who could build big ships much earlier than we previously thought. The ship burial in Laco also helps fill in the gaps between the early Scandinavian ship burials which date to the end of the 8th century and the Sutton Hoo ship burial in England which dates to the early 7th century. But is there a relationship between the ship burial traditions in Scandinavia and England? That remains an open question, one that researchers might be able to answer by studying other large unexplored burial mounds in Norway. There are hundreds of them and some of them might contain ships or other clues about the ancient burial customs of the people who lived in Scandinavia before and during the Viking Age. Researchers are also not sure what the ship buried in Laker was used for. Was it a warship, a trading ship or a ceremonial ship? However, they do know that Laker is situated along a centuries-old shipping route which connected Scandinavia with the rest of Europe and beyond. We know that the exchange of goods must have been extensive at this time and the most logical thing is that the goods were transported by ship along the coast. The ship burial in Laker might reflect the importance of the maritime culture and the trade network for the people who lived there. Based on local historical records, the researchers also know that the site was excavated several times in the 18th century. At that time, workers removed a variety of objects from the mound including a seated skeleton with a sword, animal bones, charcoal, iron nails and a bronze kettle. Those items, however, have been lost since the 1920s. They might have provided more information about the identity and the lifestyle of the person buried in the ship and the connection between the ship burial and the Christian faith which was spreading in Scandinavia at that time. The ship burial in Laker is a fascinating discovery that sheds new light on the history and the culture of the people who lived in Scandinavia before the Viking Age. It also challenges our assumptions and stereotypes about the Vikings who were not only raiders and plunderers but also inheritors and innovators of a long and rich tradition of shipbuilding and ship burial. The ship burial in Laker is evidence to the human desire to honor the dead and to create a lasting legacy for the living. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos about history, archaeology and culture. See you next time.